Welcome back to Maintenance Monday. Today I'm going to explain how to shorten the disc brake hoses on your SRAM or Shimano compatible bike. It could be that you've decided you need to shorten your brake hoses because you've made some changes to the setup of your bike, such as the width of your handlebars or the length of your stem, for example. And if so, there are a few little different parts that you're going to need to do the job. On a Shimano equipped bike, the first thing you're going to need to do is to remove the brake hose from the lever body itself. So undo the, the nut, which is connected to the hose, remove that off. And then the next step you're going to need to do is to cut the short section of hose off, which you no longer require. It will have a barb and an olive in place, and they're going to have to be discarded because you can use your new ones. Perfect tool for the job is called HBT1. There's lots of different variations out there, but this is something that makes your life a little bit easier. It means you're going to get a nice clean cut and install the barb without any hassle and stress. To cut your brake hose, there's this sharp blade here. You simply place the hose through between the handle and the body of the tool, clamp it up, and with one firm press straight through the hose, you have a nice clean cut, which needs to be sat at 90 degrees to the rest of the hose. This section here is threaded and you can tighten and loosen it and is where you will clamp your brake hose through to hold it in place without crushing it. And then as you squeeze the lever of the tool itself, this little pin pops out and is what will push the barb inside the hose and seat it correctly. So we've got our threaded nut on, we've got the olive in place, we've got the hose clamped securely in the tool and we can see how much hose we've got protruding through the tool relative in this little gap. Then we can take the barb, which is this little small part here, and then hold in that tool steady with one hand and place that in on that little locating pin. And then we need to hold the barb in place as we squeeze the lever to bring it nice and close so that with one firm push we can guide it in place and push the barb all the way into the hose so that end lip is sat flush with the end of the hose. So with the barb installed in place and the other components on the hose in the correct order, the next step is reinstalling this end of the hose back into the lever body. Now providing that you haven't knocked the bike about loads or squeezed the brake lever itself, and that your hose hasn't lost loads of fluid, chances are you will be okay just to reinstall it and your brake should work fine with a few pumps. But if you are unlucky and you want the absolute best performance of your brake possible, you're probably going to have to bleed it to make sure there's not the tiniest little bit of air that's worked its way into the system. Now, when you install the hose back into the lever body, you need to make sure it has a firm push so that this barb sits as far into the lever as it possibly can. And then you can push the olive and the threaded nut all the way down until they sit in the correct place and then start the thread off by hand. The reason you do this is to make sure that you don't cross thread any of it and cause yourself any complications or problems. Now Shimano also recommend installing a little bit of grease around this olive and on the thread of the nut itself. So if you're going to use some grease, make sure that it's compatible with the mineral oil that is inside the braking system itself. And when you do the hose up, You'll need to make sure you do it to the correct torque setting, which I'll put on the screen down below so you know what to use. When you're buying the different components that you need to shorten your disc brake hoses, you need to make sure you either get the correct hose or the parts relevant to the hose that's installed on your bike. Because the difference between them is the outer diameter remains the same, but the inner diameter does vary very slightly. And as such, the barb which you're going to insert needs to be the correct size relative to the inner diameter of the hose. And I think the difference between them is 2.1 millimeters and 2.3 millimeters. So don't mix those up, otherwise you'll have a break which won't work correctly and may well leak hydraulic fluid, meaning you're not gonna be able to stop in a hurry. If you have a SRAM equipped bike, the process is fairly similar to what I've just talked through for Shimano equipped bikes. So you're going to have a few different components. We've got our little nut. We've got a barb here, which is slightly different to the Shimai one because it's threaded. And as such, you don't push it into place, you thread it into place. And then the olive goes over the top of the barb and again is threaded. And you put that on last once you put the barb in place. So the process we need to do is install the threaded nut first over the brake hose, having already cut it to the correct length that you require. And then you've got your little barb here. So as I said, this is threaded 
and it uses a T8 Torx piece to go into place. And if you've cut your hose correctly, you'll have a nice 90 degree flush finish and you can thread the barb all the way in until this flat ridge here sits perfectly flush up against the end of the hose. And once that is all the way in, you then need to get the little red olive. Now you could install this either way round, but it's crucial that you get it the correct way. So the thread on the olive is actually a reverse thread compared to the way that you've just wound the barb into the hose to make sure that as you do one up, it doesn't undo the opposite one. So to thread it on, you place it over the end like so, and with the reverse thread, that's how you would do it. And you, you know it's the correct way round because you've got this multi step down end on the end of the hose, which is gonna sit into the lever body itself. So a few points to note as you go along and go through the process. Make sure you install the threaded nut first. When you're installing the barb, don't over tighten it. Just do it securely so it's firmly in place before you end up going too far and ending up stripping some of the lining of the hose out and pulling the thread out, meaning that you have to cut the hose shorter again and start the process. Make sure that the barb is sat flush on the end of the hose. This is very important. And then as you're threading the olive onto the end of the barb, make sure you get it the correct way around. And remember that the thread is reversed. So as such, thread it on like so. And that is the way round you need to have it. Once it's in and on place, again, the same principle as you did with the barb, do it up firmly, but don't do anything too crazy. And you'll know it's sat correctly when you can see the end of the barb is almost perfectly flush with the end of the olive. And at this point, you can go ahead, firmly push this back into the lever body, making sure it's as far as it can go, and then take the threaded nut, start it off by hand, and then you can use a spanner to do it up tightly. Again, the torque setting I'll put on the screen below, and SRAM recommend the same thing as Shimano. Apply a little bit of grease onto the olive, a little bit of grease onto the thread, but what you need to make sure for SRAM equipped bikes is that the grease is compatible with dot fluid. So just the same as with the Shimano system, provided you haven't pulled the brake lever and lost any fluid out of the reservoir, and you haven't lost any brake fluid out of the hose itself, you should be able to reinstall it back together and your brake should work okay. However, it is good practice to bleed the brakes and I mean you've got the best performing brake you possibly could have. Hope you found this maintenance video helpful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments section down below if you've ever shortened your brake hoses yourselves and how it went for you. Hmm. See you later.